For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Sturdy and I uh, teach English here. And I have the pleasure today to introduce Ben Timmerman to you. Ben was born on November 5th, 1996 to Jeff and Roxanne Timmerman. He has two siblings. Uh, he has kindly been terrorizing Samantha and Morgan for 17 years. <laughs> ben stays involved at that FHS through varsity soccer, varsity trap, and target group. Ben told me that one of his fondest memories was when the basketball team went to state last year and he went to cheer them on as a Hawaiian tourist. Hawaiian tourist. <laughs> ben is very proud of his academic achievements as well as being named captain of the varsity soccer team. Uh, he does plan to go to college after high school, but the where and the for what are currently still up in the air. Ben has spent some time talking to me about possibly going to UMD to play soccer there as well as pursue academics. And I think I know one person who did that before. They turned out all right here. <laughs> Ben's advice to incoming students was this. Be able to laugh at yourself. Mistakes and hardships are inevitable, and laughter helps us through them. I have many stories to tell about Ben when he asked me to speak on his behalf, and when, he, when we narrowed it down to that as advice, I knew what story I was going to share. So before I hop into my story, let's just do a little year-by-year -year comparison. All right. Ben was born in 1996, right? In 1996, I was seven years old, not talking to girls and playing sports. In 2008, you were 12. Were you talking to girls? Probably not. And I was graduating high school. In 2012, I graduated college, and I landed here in Fairmont, and that is where our paths crossed when you were 15. The story that I'm choosing to tell you today is not about a time that I helped Ben, whether it was in the classroom or with, it, with his soccer skills. Uh, it's a story about a time Ben helped me. See, two years ago, I came here to Fairmont. And two years ago, I looked out at a classroom, very scared, and I saw this smiling sophomore boy catching glances with me, and I couldn't tell if his smile said, oh, hey, this guy looks pretty nice. Or if it was like, this guy has no idea what I'm about to do. <laughs> <laughs> As I look back, I think it may have been a little of both. <laughs> two years ago, my father was also diagnosed with colon cancer. Uh, when, when this happened, I was three hours away from my family. I felt hopeless. Uh, I had been experiencing so many highs here in Fairmont. I was coaching girls soccer. I was teaching a subject that I loved to students that I was very fond of. I was meeting new people. And all of that <coughs> evaporated one afternoon. Uh, at this point in time, I, I didn't want to come to work. I just, I would much prefer to just stay on my couch. I wanted to be three hours away next to the man who raised me as he fought for his life. That's where I wanted to be. And Ben played an interesting part in all this that he's not really at all aware of. Ben made me laugh every day. And it wasn't so much about what he said, it was, it was how he said it, or it was how he made me feel. Because as you know, or if you don't know, most of the stuff that he babbles about is just random nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> but he made me laugh. And then day by day, that laughter and that happiness and those smiles, they stacked on each other. And, and slowly I found joy in coming to work every day. Slowly I got out of my slump. Slowly I became or found again that happy-go-lucky Mr. Sturdy that I enjoyed being. Ben, I, I have you to thank for that. So please, Ben, never stop making us laugh. You have a gift, and your gift helps us to do it. I know that you helped me, and I know that down the road, whatever happens as I hopefully still get to observe your life and the accomplishments that you have coming, you're going to help other people. So congratulations on being on the homecoming court, man. You deserve it. I can't wait to see what's up ahead. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ben Zerman. <laughs>